What's up guys, welcome to your fourth 3DS Max tutorial. And and I got a comment from someone and they say it's 3DS, not 3D's Max. Well, too bad, I'm calling it 3D's Max. So welcome to your 3D's slash 3D's S Max tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be creating objects for the very first time. And if you uh, don't count that little time we created that teapot in the last tutorial, but um let's get right into it enough talking so in order to create an object you need to go to the create panel which is in your command panel and as you see you got five different tabs right here create modify hierarchy and all these good ones what we want to be is in the create one right here and even in this create panel we got let's see six different subcategories that's geometry shapes light cameras helpers space warps and systems we want to make sure we are in geometry because we're going to be creating basic geometric shapes so let's go ahead and go ahead and pick any of these objects i'm going to pick a sphere because it's the easiest to create and go ahead and once you click it you see it'll change color and all these little sub menus what are called rollouts pop up but you can ignore them for now and go ahead anywhere click and drag outward and this is going to create your sphere and that's all you have to do to create any object anytime you want to create an object just go ahead and click on the one you want to create click on it in the viewport and drag it and you're, you're going to be in create mode so for example you're going to have box selected go ahead and well you don't know how to create a box yet but go ahead and create that then when you click somewhere else you can go ahead and create another one and another one but what if you want to get out of this mode and you want to stop creating objects and you want to actually edit them well anytime you want to edit or escape the create mode you can either hit select objects and then when you click and drag it does nothing or if you're in create mode like this you can just go ahead and right click and that's going to allow you to escape create mode too so anytime you want to escape create mode just go ahead and right click it's the easiest way so now you can see that every object you have if you select an object um what uh i want to say maya but what autodesk did was they automatically gave it a name and a color and of course these names aren't very creative or inventive so we can go ahead and change those by changing this to like ball instead of spear and we can also change the default color it gives it a random color but if we want to change that just go ahead and double click this palette pick a color and click OK there are also some other settings but I never use them and you usually want to oh and here's another thing if all your objects are getting the same color then that means somehow you toggle this button off assign random colors so make sure that is checked on if you want each of your objects to have a different color which you usually do then go ahead and click OK so now you know how to change the name and color. And another thing I want to take note of, I'm going to go ahead and hit Control A, and it's going to select them all, and I'm going to delete them because I want to teach you guys something else. Different objects have a different number of clicks and drags required to create them. So for example, uh, whenever I created this sphere right here, I just clicked and dragged once, and bam, I created it. But for example, say I wanted to create something like uh, a cone right there. This one has three click and drags that you need to create. The first one is the base radius or the base. The second one is the height. And the third one, when I let go, click and drag is, I don't know what you call this parameter, the pointiness of it or the roundness, pretty much the top of it. So just take note of that, that different objects have a different number of clicks and drags. So if you think you're done, you may not be done. Now, as soon as you create an object, you can go modify it in these parameters right here. So for example, you can change the height of it. Well, let's change the radius too. Notice it's pointed at the top. We can change that to like 10 and then click away and you can see the changes. Or we can change the height to... Um, 18 or 17 and then go ahead and click it will be shorter but here's the thing when you click away to another object say select object and then you click back to select this one those parameters aren't editable anymore 
So you're saying, all right, I want to make this ball a little bigger. So I'll just click on it and I'll go over here and change WTF, where'd they go? I can't change the parameters anymore. Well, in order to change the parameters, what you need to do is go to the Modify tab after you created it. And this is where you can change the parameters. And again, you can enter something numerically or you can click these or you can just click it once and drag it. So that's probably the easiest way. So again, that's, I don't want you to forget that. As soon as you create an object the very first time, you can edit it by hand. But as soon as you click away from it, then you can't edit it anymore. As soon as you click away from it, then you need to go to the Modify tab, and that's how you can edit it. So, I guess the last thing important that I want to teach you in this tutorial, let me create a box real quick. One click for the base, one click for the height. In order to delete an object while it's selected, and remember, if you want to select another one, just go ahead and click Select Object up here. You just go ahead and select it, and press the delete button on your keyboard that's the easiest way and now the another another important thing that I know is gonna come in handy anytime you guys wanna undo um, something you did whether it's creating or deleting something just go ahead and hold down control and press Z so if you made a mistake uh, by accident and you wanna go back and undo that mistake just hold down control and Z so that's D for or excuse me delete to delete an object and control Z to undo one of your mistakes. So that's that for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over creating some more um, advanced objects. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.